Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video that I haven't done before. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a ton of these on YouTube, but I figured I should probably start doing these mainly to keep myself accountable because if there's any part of this Iron Man prep that I have been the laziest, it definitely comes down to my nutrition. And you know, I've seen a lot of progress when it comes to cycling, when it comes to swimming, when it comes to running. And I, sometimes I feel like I'm holding myself back from seeing even more progress because I am not taking nutrition as serious as I should. So I wanna start doing more of these full day of eating videos primarily to keep myself a little bit more accountable. Plus, I feel like it's always kind of interesting to see kind of what people are eating and how they are fueling themselves, whether it is good or bad. So I'm working on it. I'm sure you guys probably have great tips and other good meal ideas. And if you do, please drop them in the comments because I will take all the meal ideas I can get. But I just went to Trader Joe's and just did a pickup and I'm really happy about everything I got because it was all under $100. This, by the way, is my guilty pleasure at Trader Joe's. If you've never had their ice cream sandwiches, I highly recommend. But this is what I'm going to be working off of uh, for the next day. Got some really good granola. I haven't had this yet, but it looked really good. I get a lot of my protein bars from Trader Joe's. If you guys have a Trader Joe's, I highly recommend these. These are really tasty. There is how much? 20 grams of protein in each bar. But yeah, this is the plan. Got some greens, got my meat, got some carbs. And yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to go over every single thing that I got because I'm sure you guys honestly could care less. But yeah, you know, I've been tracking what I've been eating this past week. I don't normally track my calories or kind of what I am eating, but you know, again, like I mentioned, I felt like I've really kind of been slacking on the nutrition side of things. So what I did this week is I used my fitness pal to track what I've been eating and just kind of go through my normal day and not really add in anything extra because I'm tracking. And what I realized is I am not getting enough macronutrients in on a daily basis that I should be getting in, especially with all the workouts uh, that I'm doing. So things need to change and I need to pay more attention to it. And this is me making myself be accountable and showing you guys what I'm eating every now and then just to kind of get me in the rhythm of eating the right amount of foods and the right type of food, I guess you could say. So not going to film what I'm eating today, but tomorrow I will film like the full day of eating. And I also have I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the run tomorrow or the bike, but I, it's, it's an active recovery week. So neither one of the workouts are going to be too crazy, but you'll just have to wait until tomorrow to find out which one I'm going to do, I guess. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I am currently walking to Central Park. I decided I'm going to do the run today. It's just a 50 minute run, so nothing too crazy. Again, this is an active recovery week. So this weekend's not like too challenging, thankfully. But really the goal for today when it comes to the full day of eating is to just make sure I try to get as close as possible to hitting all the macros that I need to hit. So what I did is for the app, MyFitnessPal, it asks you like what your goals are, if you're wanting to lose weight, gain weight, or maintain weight. For me, well, yeah, I just want to maintain weight and try not to lose any weight. Based on my height and my weight and my level of activity, I put very active with all the training that I'm doing. It came out that it wants me, for me to maintain weight, I need to try to get 384 grams of carbs, 103 grams of fat, and 154 grams of protein. So that's the goal today. Like I mentioned yesterday, I have not been hitting that this past week. And again, I tried to just go off of my, what I would normally eat on a daily basis, not try to do anything extra. So today I'm adding in some extra things just to really try to hit the macros that I need to hit. And really more so just to build that muscle in my mind to get a feel for how I should be eating on a daily basis. So to start off, I'm going to just eat a bar right before my run. This is a Go Macro Bar from Trader Joe's. But I was looking at the macros in it. It's actually pretty good. The total grams of carbs is 39 grams of carbs, 11 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat. So I'm gonna eat this right before the run. It's gonna be primarily zone two. We'll see if I keep it there. I sometimes struggle with staying in zone two just because I get a little excited sometimes. 
especially when it's cold out like it is today. It's like, I don't know, 37 degrees. So part of me just wants to run faster to try to warm up. This bar, by the way, is the peanut butter chocolate chip. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Highly recommend these. I feel like this is perfect pre-run. All right, I finished the bar. I was gonna wait till I got inside the park to start the run, but honestly, I'm too cold to wait. <laughs> I need to start warming my body up, so I'm just going to start now. All right, so 50 minutes. I'm gonna try and stay in zone two. I had to put some gloves on. Even my fingers are freezing cold right now. <sighs> but hopefully they will warm up soon. Thank God the sun is out. Honestly, it wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't so windy. I'm really ready to get out here on my bike, but this weather is just not cooperating with me. Does it not realize I need to get some outdoor rides in? I'm running past where I did my fitness test the other day, well, my run fitness test. It's giving off a little PTSD vibes. That shit was hard the other day and I almost wanted to die. Make sure you guys go check out that video if you want to see me suffer. But super proud of the results. What I do know is that the next couple of weeks of training are gonna get really intense and hard based on my new thresholds. Just trying to tell myself I'm excited for it, even though I'm not. It's always cool running past this building because my team and I sell a lot of apartments in there. That's 1050 Fifth Avenue. complete <clears throat> 5.87 miles and my average pace was 832 I don't know why but sometimes on the shorter flash easier runs they don't feel so easy I don't know if it's more of a mental thing because it's like at a 30 minute mark you're like oh I'm almost done but you still have 20 minutes so I think knowing that you have a short run you're just ready for it to get done with quicker I don't know I feel like I'm not really even thinking straight right now but let's go eat some breakfast. It is currently 9.52, so it's a little late for me to normally eat breakfast, so I'm kind of hoping, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll be hungry for lunch. Uh, I'm gonna be stuffing myself today, and that's the whole plan, but I'm gonna do four eggs, and then two packets. I ordered this maple brown sugar oatmeal, so I'm gonna do two packets of this with a little bit of peanut butter in it. So honestly, cooking eggs, uh, in the morning is something that I usually always do. I'll usually do between four to five, but adding these oatmeal packets on the side is new. So, gotta up the carbs. And yes, I mix my eggs up in the pan. I feel like some people, you know, they mix them up in a bowl and then they pour it in the pan. And my girlfriend, so she used to make fun of me for doing it this way, but it's like, why would I waste a bowl that I have to wash just to mix up eggs when I can just easily do it in the pan? This is the easiest and most efficient way I feel like. But yeah, just scramble them up. I do have one special ingredient that I always throw in my eggs. You might be able to get it at other stores. I'll just grab it really quick but Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning is so good. So I usually will put this on instead of putting salt in there. And then I just continue to mix it up a little bit. Okay, time to eat. So yeah, I have four eggs here, two packets of the brown sugar oatmeal, and I added in some peanut butter, and then 
I also have this cup of, it's just water, but then I added a packet of BPN's electrolytes. But yeah, like I mentioned, these eggs are normally like my go-to in the mornings. I'm sure none of you guys really want to watch me eat, but with the eggs, the oatmeal, I'm not really tracking the drink. I don't think that really matters. But so far today, I am at 41 grams of protein, 37 grams of fat, and 110 grams of carbs. So I still have quite a bit left. This is kind of a, again, a late breakfast for me, just because obviously I went on the run a little bit later than I normally would. I'll probably try to aim to do lunch around 12, 30, one o'clock. Hopefully I'm hungry by then. And then we'll slowly make our way through the day. I'm interested though, like what, would you say your guys' like go-to breakfast is after a workout? <sighs> Meal number one for the day is complete and it is all gone. I'll be honest though, I am pretty full. I feel like I'd take a nap, honestly. Okay, so it is time for lunch. It is almost one o'clock. I still... <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm a little full from breakfast still. I feel like I just ate, but we gotta keep eating because I need to get these macros in and make sure I get enough food in to recover properly. Uh, for lunch though, I am going to make just chicken wraps with chicken. I got this like sauce from Trader Joe's. It's called Magnificence. I've always been wanting to try it. I tried it yesterday for the first time. Actually really good, it's like a mixture of ketchup, mayo, mustard, and a little bit of relish. It sounds a little weird, but it's pretty good on these wraps. And then yeah, just gonna add cheese and some spinach. So let's just make these bad boys. You are my baby. You are my baby. You are I accidentally put way too much sauce on that, but who doesn't like it saucy? Okay, wraps are complete, and I have a feeling these are probably about to get really messy. Let me actually, I should probably sit at the table for these. I barely was able to wrap the burrito. I kind of wish these were larger tortillas, but they're just gonna have to do. Not too shabby though. Let's try this first bite. Hopefully this doesn't fall apart. I definitely need to start making these more. They're so easy to make. And the grilled chicken I got from Trader Joe's. So it was like already cooked and chopped up. I actually really like that sauce too. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm struggling to finish this. <laughs> this is the last one though. I'm almost done. I just gotta get it down. See, honestly, if I ate like this during the week, I would need like three naps. I would not be productive whatsoever. At least it's good. Last bite. The last bite was good because it has a lot of sauce in it. I did not think I was gonna be able to finish that, but for that meal, it was 58 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat, and 58 grams of carbs. So let's add that in. So, so far today, I am at 93 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat, and 163 grams of carbs. I still have 244 grams of carbs left. I'm gonna have to do like a snack in a couple hours, maybe around like 3.30, um, and then I will do dinner later on. But yeah, I gotta I'm gonna have to fit something in here to hit the protein, hit all the macros that I have left today. So I need to digest this food <laughs> quickly so that I will have some room in there to eat something in like two more hours. This is tough. This is how I knew I was not eating the right amount of food to recover how I should be, that's for sure. Uh, I'll be honest, I just woke up from like an hour long nap. Fell asleep watching Harry Potter, of course. But Lucky fell asleep too, so now we're on a nice little walk to try to wake up, continue digesting my lunch. I'm still a little full, but once I wrap up this walk, it's time for the next meal. But I'm actually excited for this one, so that helps. 
So time for meal number three. For this meal, I will be making like a Greek yogurt bowl. So I will be using the vanilla Greek yogurt, BPN's chocolate vegan protein, the peanut butter chocolate granola that I got yesterday, some blueberries, a banana, and then last but not least, of course, some more peanut butter. Let's put this thing together. Sometimes you need to add in a little oat milk or whatever kind of milk you have just to make it a little bit softer and not as thick. It actually looks really good. I thought it was gonna look a little bit prettier than it came out, but what are you gonna do? I guess the most important thing is that it all ends up inside my stomach. So let's see if I can get this down. Cause I'm, again, I'm still a little full from earlier. Okay, first bite. Let's see if I can get a little bit of everything. It's close enough. Yeah, this is really good. Now this is something that I could easily eat every day. I mean, I feel like it has a lot of protein. I haven't calculated it all. I'll calculate it in a minute to see how much was in here, but it's pretty solid. <laughs> you can't have anybody. This is not for you. This is not for you, this is for me. He's like, seriously, you're gonna eat that right in front of me? What do you think? Unfortunately, you can't. It would not be good for your stomach. There's chocolate in here. And I don't know if you can have this kind of food, but daddy can. One thing that's good about me filming these like full day of eatings is like really so that I can look back and remember what kind of meals I can make because you know sometimes I, I will sit there and think what do I want to eat and my mind just goes blank as to what I could potentially put together so I guess having these videos I'll be able to just look back and think about oh I made that one time I should have that this is one of my new favorite things though which is mixing the protein powder with the Greek yogurt I didn't start doing this until a couple of months ago. I saw someone else do it, I don't remember. It was someone on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, but I was like, damn, that actually makes a lot of sense. And I did it for the first time. It was hard to eat though, because I didn't put any milk in it, so it was too thick. It was almost like a paste. So if you make this and it's too thick with the protein powder, remember to add some milk because it'll help. Last bite. That was good. I highly recommend making that. And obviously you can use whatever protein powder you want. Unfortunately, I have to now use vegan protein powders because the whey protein powder messes up my stomach and you know what the outcome of that is. And let's just say my girlfriend got tired of it. So vegan protein it is for now on. Okay, so I just put all the macros into my fitness pal. This was actually a pretty protein packed little snack and carb wise too, so I'm happy with this one. But it was 47.5 grams of protein, 22.7 grams of fat, and then 111 grams of carbs. That was a pretty solid snack. That's, that is a meal, if we're being honest. So the total for today so far is I'm at 141 grams of protein, 77 grams of fat, and 274 grams of carbs. And as you can see right under the rings or the graph there shows what I have left. So 23 grams left of protein, 32 grams left of fat, and 135 grams left of carbs. I feel like that is definitely doable now for dinner. I can, I should be able to accomplish that. It is 4.14 right now. I will probably aim to do dinner around 7, 7.30 or so. That should give me enough time to digest this now. I, I honestly might go down for another nap. Eating this much, see, I'm just tired. I'm just <laughs> tired, man. But it's all right. I don't have anything else to do today. And Lucky's napping. And if Lucky's napping, then I think I'm allowed to nap. Is that a good rule to follow? I'd say so. Anyways, I'll see you guys at dinner. It's time for dinner and tonight's dinner is honestly going to be pretty nice and easy. I'll admit, I'm like exhausted from making my meals all day. I don't normally make every single meal of the day. 
I should be better about that. This is me trying to be accountable to doing so. But for dinner tonight, what I'm going to do is just make some chicken sausage that I got from Trader Joe's, mix it with some spinach as well as rice, and just make a little bowl. If you haven't noticed, I like making meals that go in a bowl. But yeah, this is a sweet apple sausage. It's really good. Again, if you have Trader Joe's, try this. I swear Barry and I, we eat this about once a week, like some kind of bowl with this uh, sweet apple chicken sausage in it. But it's really easy to cook. And then yeah, you're gonna throw the spinach in there, rice. That's really about it. And then I'll drizzle it with barbecue sauce at the end, which you'll see. appetizing but it's actually really good last meal of the day I can do this I feel like I've been in like a food eating contest all day and I it may be more exhausting doing this than a three and a half hour bike ride that's for sure just kidding I'm obviously exaggerating here also you guys might be like do you eat any of your meals with your girlfriend she has friends in town so she's out and about doing stuff with them all day and has dinner and going to a comedy show that's why she <laughs> She has not been eating with me in any of these videos today. I love the chicken sausage from this place. I feel like doing one of these full day of eating videos would be a lot easier on like one of the days when I had a really long brick workout because that's usually when I'm the most hungriest, if that's how you can say it, throughout the day. Whereas today, I just had that 50 minute run and yeah, it's a decent run, but it didn't make me like starving all day long, that's for sure. last bite. Normally I would have a dessert at the end of the day, but I can't today. I don't think I can put one more thing in my mouth. All right, let me figure out what the macros were for that. And we can wrap this whole thing up. Thank God. I'm so tired of eating today. Okay, so the final macros for that dinner was 26 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, and 65 grams of carbs. So that was pretty good, but then my total for the day, because I'm done, I'm not, I'm not eating anything else today, was 167 grams of protein. So I hit that, I actually went three grams over, 89 grams of fat, I still have 20 grams left, and then 339 grams of carbs. It says I have 70 grams left, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I think that was good enough and that is definitely the best I've done all week when it comes to getting as close as possible to needing to hit those macro goals. Again, like I, it's not something I'm going to pay attention to daily, right? I'm not someone who wants to count my macros on the daily anyways. It's just something I don't really care about, but it is interesting to track it every now and then just to get a sense of, you know, how am I doing? How close am I getting to hitting what I need to hit in order to at least maintain my body weight that I have while I'm training as much as I am? Again, I'm not gonna track every day, but every now and then I will. And after doing so and doing something like I did today, it gives me a good sense of how much I need to be eating on a daily basis to maintain my body weight. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first full day of eating. I'm sorry, it may have been a little rough around the edges here and there, but it's whatever. Um, feel free to try out any, any of the meals that I made, and if you guys have any ideas for me or any meals that are like your go-to, please let me know. I'm always open to trying new food and especially new meals, and especially if they're easy to make. So I'm not a chef, that's for sure. So just keep that in mind, please, when you like recommend stuff. I'm not like Gordon Ramsay out here just whipping things up in the kitchen. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if so. Subscribe down below for future videos. Again, doing two times a week now. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you think I should record or anything I should talk about or if you have any tips for me. I'm kind of going on a rant. I feel like I'm in like a food coma right now. So a part of me doesn't even know what I'm talking about, I think. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.